Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how I made this hair in Blender using the new hair curve system. I start by creating a base mesh where I want the hair to grow. But if your character is already retopologized, you can just simply extract the mesh from there. Since I'll be using weight paint to control the hair density, I make sure this mesh has enough resolution that I can paint on. Once the mesh is ready, I scale it down a bit. This helps me hide it slightly and prevents the hair strands from floating. Before adding any hair, it is important to unwrap the mesh. Hair systems rely on UVs for things like interpolation, so I just quickly do a basic unwrap. Next, with the mesh selected, I shift A and add an empty hair. I go to sculpt mode, turn on symmetry, and start adding hair curves. From here, I slowly build up the modifiers. I begin with a set hair curve profile to adjust the radius. I turn on render preview to see how thick the hair looks. From there, I stack several modifiers. I like adding a bit of variation and character to the hair shape. I suggest experimenting with different modifiers that will suit your character. Once I'm happy with the basic shape, I start styling the hair using the comb, grow, or shrink brushes. I take all the options under interpolate so new curves use the average length, radius, shape, and point count of the nearby strands. This will keep everything looking consistent. As I add more curves, I continue styling them using the same brushes. To increase overall density, I add the interpolate hair curves modifier after the duplicate hair curves. I select the mesh as a surface, then increase the density value. As you can see, it starts covering the entire mesh, so now it's time for weight painting. First, I create a new vertex group and rename it appropriately since I'll be adding more for a different area later. With the weight paint of 1, I paint only the areas where I want the hair to grow. I just copy the vertex group name and paste it into the density mask field. Now I go back to more styling and disable symmetry to make it look more natural. To create the hair on the sides, I follow the same process. Add hair curves, comb and trim for styling. I just copy the modifiers from the top hair setup but we'll still adjust the settings later. Create a new vertex group. Weight paint the side area. Paste the new group name into the density mask. Add more hair curves to fill the space. For the material, I use the principled hair BSDF. I add a Curves Info node, then connect the intercept output to the factor input of a color ramp. By doing this, you can control the gradient along the curve. To add color variation, I connect the random output to another color ramp, then blend using a Mix node and set this to Add. This is great if your character has random white hairs. In my case, the character only has dark hair, so I just change the color accordingly. Now, for the eyebrows and eyelashes, this was inspired by Nazareth's videos, which I'll link below. But this is done using the new hair system, where you can play with the modifiers. The process is very similar to the head hair, but the eyebrow modifiers are much simpler. You can add more if needed, but this setup is already enough for my character. And just like before, I use weight paint 
for the density mask. This whole setup makes it super easy to reuse the eyebrows on another character and tweak things later. Then I duplicate the eyebrow, mirror it to the other side, and use a shrink wrap to attach it to the head. I can also scale or reposition it as needed. For the eyelashes, instead of interpolate hair curves, I just use the duplicate hair curves since I won't be needing that much density. But I still have a mesh for the eyelashes. This helps me attach the eyelashes to this surface and not be all over the place. I do it by adding an Attach Hair Curves to Surface modifier and select the mesh as the surface. Then I duplicate and mirror it to the other side. That's all. Thank you for watching. Happy blending!